Spoiler alert. Watch out and enjoy. The film is set in 1917, three years after the start of World War I. We see a German soldier named Heinrich, being ordered by his commander to go to war. Just as he is about to climb the ladder, one of the German soldiers is killed right in front of him. He fights alongside the other soldiers against the enemies. He quickly runs out of bullets, and is forced to fight the enemies with a shovel. The next scene shows a huge pile of bodies, including the soldier we saw a few seconds ago. After the troops are killed, those in charge of the clearing are seen collecting their uniforms, including Heinrichs. They are then sterilized before being distributed to new recruits. In North Germany, a boy named Paul arrives at a building, to be recruited for the Imperial German Army along with his school friends Albert, Franz, and Ludwig. The soldiers are then inspired by an officer's emotional and encouraging speech. They are filled with pride as a result of the patriotic speech, and they can't wait to put their newfound confidence to use on the battlefield. When Paul received the uniforms, he was surprised to see the name Heinrich printed on his shirt instead of his own. Paul and his friends put on their uniforms and laugh. Then, still fulfilled with their brave commitment, they proceed to the Western Front in Northern France. They were stopped by a staff surgeon, who demanded that they hand over their vehicle, so that it could be used for medical purposes. As a result, the army continues to march on foot. A bomb explodes next to the line of soldiers, and they believe it contains mustard gas, so they put on their masks. When Paul notices Albert struggling to put on his mask, he decides to assist him. The lieutenant is irritated that Paul did not put on his mask before assisting others. The officer is certain Paul will die on the field soon. The youngsters gradually learn about the harsh reality behind the trenches. Once in the trenches, Paul meets a man named Cat, who offers him water. He warns Paul that things will worsen at night. Then Ludwig, one of Paul's friends, expresses his dissatisfaction, saying he expected something different when he enlisted in the army. Later that night, while guarding the trenches with his friend Albert, Paul is shot in the head. Fortunately, his helmet saved him. They return back to their positions only to get bombarded. They are then told to flee for safety and seek refuge in the bunker. Ludwig begins to panic and expresses a wish to go home. Then another soldier sneaks out of the trench, but a bomb falls and explodes him. Their bunker begins to collapse as the shelling continues. Everyone except Paul and another soldier makes it out when the lieutenant orders them to. The next day, they discover Paul buried beneath the beams and planks, but still alive. Paul meets Kat, who offers him some food. Paul is then ordered to retrieve the tags from the decayed soldiers. Paul steps on Ludwig's glasses while carrying out the assignment. He then finds out that Ludwig has been killed. Paul is devastated. After 18 months, some army men are enlisting the names of the fallen soldiers at the German High Command. There a man called Mr. Herzberg receives the list with those names. As a result, they expect the general staff to end the war, and put an end to the killings once and for all. Mr. Herzberg enters the room with all of the generals, and the scene returns to the soldiers in France. Paul and his new pal Cat end up stealing food from a nearby farm. Cat is able to steal a goose knot without getting caught. Back at the base, Paul, Cat, Franz, Albert, and another soldier called Jaden get together to eat the goose, and have a good time. Later, while the boys are peeling potatoes, three French girls pass nearby. Albert seems willing to get in touch with them, but Franz is the only one who takes advantage of the situation and approaches them. In the end, he leaves with the girls. Franz returns to the base late at night, and tells his friends about the French woman he spent the night with. He also shows them a piece of cloth that he took from her. The following day, the group is given the assignment of searching for a missing company of 60 new recruits. When Paul and his friends arrive at a train station, they realize mustard gas has been released there. They enter a shed, and Paul eventually locates the group inside a room. Unfortunately, the entire recruit had died. They discover that the soldiers removed their masks too soon, and died as a result of the gas. General Friedrich is smoking a cigarette in his office. He discusses a ceasefire treaty, that Germany will have with the French with one of his men. Friedrich, on the other hand, is far too proud to give up the war. He clearly prefers a more aggressive approach and demands that the military continue to fight. He is not willing to give in yet. Then we see Mr. Herzberg once more, this time on a train. The meeting between the French and German powers to end the war, will take place on the same train. Paul's team is told to go to the front. They then proceed to the battlefield, and seek refuge in the trenches. Then Paul successfully makes it to the French trench, and then starts killing French soldiers. As the team advances and captures the camp, they seize the opportunity to feast on the food that has been left behind. They feel the ground shaking, 
and they go out to see what's the reason behind it. But they can't believe their eyes, when they see the French counterattack team arrives with tanks. They try to bring them down, but their rifles and machine guns, have not to match the sophisticated weaponry of the French. They do, however, blow up one tank with an explosive, and the group then realizes the French are advancing with flamethrowers. The group flees, but Albert is injured and is unable to escape. Albert begs to spare his life as he kneels down, ready to surrender. Despite his plea, Albert is killed. Paul, who had barely escaped a blast earlier, is shocked to see his friend executed. Paul is heartbroken after witnessing a friend's death and losing sight of Franz. As a result of the aerial attack, Paul ends up in a puddle. A wounded French soldier falls near him. Paul stabs the man right away, but the French national does not die right away. Paul can feel his pain, as he slowly loses consciousness. Paul realizes his mistake and attempts to help the soldier, but it is too late. He then searches for the soldier's documents, and discovers a photograph of her wife and child. Paul promises to look for them after the war, most likely to inform them about their diseased husband and father. While polishing his shoes, Herzberg receives some good news. After much resistance from the French, Field Marshal Paul von Hindenburg agreed to their terms, and declared that the armistice would take effect on November 11 at 11 am. The exhausted soldiers were overjoyed to learn of the impending ceasefire. Meanwhile, General Friedrichs is not delighted with the new turn of events. He issues the order for the new recruits to report to him, but he does not reveal his plan to anyone else. When Paul returns to the base, everyone is drinking and celebrating. He learns that the war is coming to an end. Jaden is eventually found in a field hospital, having been shot in the leg. Jaden is holding the cloth from the French woman Franz slept with. Needless to say, Franz died on the battlefield. Kat and Paul have been reunited. Paul informs Kat of Jaden's condition. They agree to bring food to their injured friend. Jaden stabs himself in the neck with a fork given to him while they are eating. Later that night, Paul starts to panic, saying that they'll never get rid of the trenches. Kat calms him down by telling him, that he should be thankful that they are still alive. Kat and Paul get up early in the morning, and return to the farm where they stole the goose. This time, however, it is Paul who sneaks in. He goes to get some eggs, but then he realizes the farmer's son has found him. Paul tries to convince the boy to remain calm, but the boy locks Paul in the barn, and goes to warn his father about the intruders. Paul eventually breaks free and escapes with the eggs. As the farmer fires at them, he warns Kat to flee. The farmer's son stares at them intently as the two escape. Kat is unaware that the farmer's son is after him. As he approaches Kat, the child is carrying a shotgun. After that, he pulls the trigger. Paul is taken aback when he hears the gunshot. He finds Kat struggling to walk, and discovers Kat has received a shot in his stomach. Paul wants to take the bullet out with his finger but Kat says the medics will take care of it. So Paul drags his friend to the base. Two trucks full of soldiers pass them in the middle of the road. Unfortunately, no one stops to help them. Finally, Paul arrives at the hospital. The medic examines Kat's wound, but Paul's friend has already died. The bullet actually hits him in the liver, causing the poison to spread throughout the rest of his body. Paul is shocked at the event. He can't believe he's lost his last friend in such a silly event, and only hours before the war ends. For the last time, the army is gathered in front of General Friedrichs. Despite the fact that Germany has already lost the war, Friedrichs is too proud to admit defeat. He delivers a speech, and orders the soldiers to return to the trenches, and fight until the clock strikes the 11th hour. Some soldiers refuse to obey the order, because they simply want to return home and be with their families. They are arrested right away. Meanwhile, some French soldiers are waiting for the clock to strike 11 in the trenches. When the Germans reach the no man's land, one of the soldiers takes a look at his clock, it's only 15 minutes to 11. One of the French soldiers suddenly hears the men approaching, and realizes they are under attack. So he orders the others to defend the area. Paul, now fearless and broken, returned to the battlefield and starts killing as many French soldiers as he can. The Frenchman seizes Paul and buries his face in the mud, attempting to choke him. Paul takes a rock and smashes it into the enemy's head. Then they both run towards a gun, but they both fall down the stairs and into a bunker. The two men are staring at each other. Unfortunately, another French soldier approaches from behind and stabs Paul in the heart with the bayonet. The needles strike 11 seconds after receiving the fatal blow, and the war is over. Paul makes every effort to escape the bunker, and see the sunlight for the last time. Finally, a German general orders a soldier to begin collecting the plates from the fallen. 
The soldier discovers Paul's body gently lying on the trench soil. The boy also discovers Franz's scarf, which is stained with blood and dirt and is resting in Paul's hands. The soldier takes the cloth and puts it around his neck. So this was the story of the film All Quiet on the Western Front, released in 2022. If you like the story, then do watch the full film, and if you want to watch more such amazing recaps, then do subscribe to our channel. See you in the next recap.